Hey, what's up guys? And welcome back to Lazy Couch Thoughts. Today, we're going to be breaking down all the recent LSU football news because it has been a very hectic week so far this week. So, let's just dig right in. You know, usually, I would probably have started with the postponement news or the COVID news, but something more important was just announced today. Um, this morning, we got news from Coach O that it's very unlikely that Miles Brennan is going to play again this season. Our starting quarterback for the first however many weeks, who was awesome, he was being a stud, he was throwing for 400 yards a game, four touchdowns, and now he's out. So what, what are we going to do? Because we thought TJ Finley was going to be okay after his first game, and then he went to Auburn and just snuck it up. And part of that's being a freshman, but if we have to play the season without Miles, the way our defense has been playing, there's a legit chance we will win another game. And, like, it's probably a hot take. We'll probably win another game. We have Arkansas, and we have Ole Miss, and we have, like, winnable games left. But it, this season is not looking good. This Miles Brennan injury stuff feels, like, really, really, really weird. Like, the team hasn't very been open or honest about what's going on. And honestly, at this point, if he's out for the season, I would really like to know what happened. Because he finished the game when he got hurt in. And he played very well, and LSU fell just short. Miles Brennan went off. Then all of a sudden, we found out that he might not play. And then that Thursday before the game against South Carolina, oh my gosh, TJ Finley starting. Miles Brennan can't go. TJ Finley did good. LSU fans and broadcasters, okay, TJ Finley might have just took his job. TJ Finley went to Auburn, snuck it up. Max Johnson came in. He couldn't. He played better than TJ, but it was very evident that the freshman guys just weren't ready yet. And then everybody was like, Miles, please come back. And now we're learning that Miles probably wasn't going to play against Bama before it was postponed. And that was four weeks after the injury. And now it's that he's out for the season. So what's going on, LSU? Like, can we get an answer on that? Are we ever going to figure it out? You keep telling us it's a domino or a hip. But, like, you're not telling us what happened. You're not telling us the truth. I get it. You don't have to. You're not an NFL team. But at this point, if it's this bad, I think the fans deserve an answer. Because we're not... We're not the 15 and no LSU team anymore. This information, it's not like it's leading up to a Bama game where we're both undefeated. Like, this information, like, doesn't matter because opponents, if you say out loud, like, yeah, he might not play again, then tell the fans what happened. Like, we're worried about our guy. But let's not guard this like it's some secret top FBI information for a 2-3 two, two LSU team who legit could lose out. Like, they've lost to bad teams, and we still have to play A&M and Florida, and moving on to the Bama news now. We might have to play Bama. The big news from yesterday was the SEC canceling four total games from this weekend. Well, postponing it. But as of right now, uh, the LSU and Alabama game was one of them, and this is because LSU actually fell below the minimum 53 number of requirement scholarship players in order to play a game. Because of coronavirus this season, the SEC created this new rule that was like, you have to have X amount of scholarship players on the roster, you have to have at least four defensive linemen, at least seven offensive linemen, and at least one quarterback to play a game. And if not, then the game gets postponed, it can't be played, it's just canceled, and nobody gets a loss, it's just known as a no contest. So now the SEC and a few other schools will have to make a decision. They're either going to have to just move on with the schedule without playing the games and making them up, or they're gonna have to rearrange a lot of schedules and our season's gonna look very different from this on out. The SEC had a built-in bye week, like an open week for all the teams to be able to like make up games from COVID, but LSU already has a scheduled game against Florida that week. And it's a week before the SEC Conference Championship game, which will probably end up being Alabama and Florida. Now at this point in the season, especially if we're not gonna have Miles Brennan playing, I, I for one, me personally, I am very okay with us not having to play Alabama this year. I can go on my merry way without watching Mac Jones and the boys put up 60 against our defense because we have been struggling. And I'm also okay with going another year without losing to Alabama because that would be two consecutive non-losses to Alabama in a year. And when was the last time that happened? It was a long time. So I'm definitely okay with it. But the problem with that is if Florida starts to make up the game with us the week before the next championship game and Alabama gets a bye, then Florida and Dan Mullins probably not fit. And be like, no, 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 we already clinched as the C East. Why do we have to play and they don't? So this could get messy. So this is gonna lead to one or two things. Either the SEC is gonna have to remake a lot of schedules and everything's gonna look completely different, or we just never replay a Bama game and we just never replay Florida. 
So LSU would only get eight games this season, and that's just how it would roll. But the way the season's going, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world if we didn't have to watch Bo Pelini's defense give up a ton of points. And let me make one thing clear. As an LSU fan, as all LSU fans, we need to relax a little bit because we have a lot of young guys playing right now. Like a lot. Like most of our team is freshmen, sophomores. They're going to be okay. They're going to be good. But it takes time. It takes time to develop these guys. Like a lot of these guys, like TJ Finley and Max Johnson, they were playing at like uh, Assumption High School last year. Now they're playing in Auburn. Like that's a big jump. It takes time to develop and that's okay. We have to be patient. We have to trust trust the coaching. Whether you agree with them or not, just trust them. Coach O's never given us a reason not to trust him. He's going to make the right decisions. We have to buy in. And this is part of building a program. The ups and downs, the losing, the winning, it's all part of it. And it's part of having a young team. We're going to be okay. Trust the process. And if you're still nervous if, about everything, go look at what's going on with LSU recruiting right now. We're continuing to get top recruits even though we're losing. We're 2-3 and three right now. We just had the top two safeties in the nation. Both of them, one and two, commit to LSU while we were losing. While we were getting games because of COVID. Like, it's okay, guys. People see that we're building and that we're going to give time to young guys and we're going to let them train. And, like, we're becoming that program. It takes time. Like, Joe Burrow's not walking through that door. Justin Jefferson's not walking through that door. Jamar Chase, Clyde O'Toole, they're not coming back. And it takes time to build these young guys. And as the farm continues to get replenished, we start getting higher and higher recruiting classes to where it takes less time for these players to develop into the studs that they can be. Because it takes less time to develop the five-star than the two-star. Or regardless of what your thoughts are, Justin Jefferson was awesome. He didn't become awesome overnight. Clyde O.G. Lair is awesome. He didn't become Clyde overnight. It takes time. All this stuff takes time. Trust Coach O. Trust the process. Trust LSU. And continue to cheer on these kids. And remember, they're still 18 to 22-year-olds. So... Maybe let's relax a little bit with the name calling on social media and doing all this other stuff because there's still 18 year olds going to play football for your entertainment in the pandemic. So now with all that being said, if we can't build on it next year, if we can't win 10 to 12 games next year, then we're in trouble. But as of now, our team's very young. It's a short season. It's weird. We lost 22 players from last year's team, 18 starters on both sides of the ball. Like, it takes time to rebuild, like every team, even Bama, regardless of what you think, Bama would still not be Bama right now if they had to deal with that. If they had to deal with losing their top offensive guy, their top defensive guy, like coaches, defensive coordinator, and Joe Brady. Joe Brady's going to be head coach in the NFL. Dave Moran is a head coach at, Bay at Baylor, our defensive coordinator. We lost them both. We had to in implement new schemes and new bodies and all this stuff is so new and then we did it without an off season because there was a pandemic like if there's ever a season to give lsu any leeway any excuses this is it now next season if it's more of the same then yeah you can start the fire bo pelini you can start the oh coach on the hot seat which he's not he won a national championship he did his job i don't care i don't you can say whatever you want about coach o. i don't care he won a national championship he did his job he was hired to win a national championship he won one it's all that matters. But he wants more. He wants to build a dynasty here at LSU. He wants to coach for 20 more years, win six more championships, retire in the sunset, and just coach football until he dies. Like, Coach O's going to be – he's going to be a football guy until he dies. This is what he lives for. Like, he's not doing this just for fun. Like, he lives and loves LSU football. And if you can't buy into a guy like that, I don't have to tell you, but we have to – we have to be rational. It's okay to demand greatness and expect greatness, but be rational in your demands, if that makes sense. So LSU fans, we're gonna be okay. It's okay. Just find an LSU anonymous thread on Reddit, Reddit get all your stuff out and just relax. We're gonna be okay. Yep, so that's gonna do it for today's Lazy Couch Thoughts. Um, if you like the video, please like and subscribe for more content just like this. Uh, leave a comment below what you think the SEC should do with the schedule making and all of that things for the future. Um, and lastly, guys, just have a great day. The world's wild right now, and I think we could all use a little bit of kindness. Ooh, one final thing. Just one. Tomorrow morning, Couch Fanatic Sports, first podcast ever releasing on YouTube 
and all every place you can find a podcast, Spotify, Apple Music, Google Podcasts, like everything. Everything is gonna be there. Check it out. It's gonna be great. We're gonna have a lot of fun. We're gonna have guests. We're gonna have we're gonna have different uh, athletes. We're gonna have different analysts. We're gonna have friends of mine who coach college. We're gonna have a lot of lot of fun, and it's gonna be very very insightful too. So if you're into that kind of thing, tune in. And if you're not, I don't know why you're still watching this video. So if you're watching this video, might as well just go subscribe. See you guys tomorrow. Peace.